I'm starting off this project with this tray. And this whole DIY is going to be centered around a mannequin that I saw about three years ago that I haven't picked up the courage to work on it. But now I have finally picked up the courage to do something about it. And this tray is going to be having some sort of design that's going to complement the design that will be on the mannequin as well. I started by spray painting this silver just around the sides and leaving the middle because I'm going to have mirror at the middle. This Dollar Tree mirror is what I'm going to be using and I will detach the mirror from the frame. I'll keep this aside for now and then use this mirror tiles and I have a link for this down in the description box below. I'll be attaching the cutout pieces to the tray with a strong adhesive and a hot glue gun. because I didn't want to use a lot of the mirror tiles on this because I still will be using it on the mannequin, I decided to use bling wrap on the inside instead. So I'm going to cut this down to size and glue it around the inner rim of the tray. Now I'm going to go ahead and glue on the mirror in the middle. Now here's the mannequin that I got about three years ago that was thrown away at the back of a mall. I picked it up and this was the part that was bad and I fixed it. Now the only reason why I picked this was because I did see something years ago on Pinterest on how someone made a table with the lower part of a mannequin. It seemed rather interesting, so when I had this, I just didn't have enough courage to go about with the project. So now I'm going to go ahead, after all these years, to see how it's going to look. I started by spray painting it silver, and then when it was dry, I brought it back inside to see what else that I can add to it to make it look like a table. First and foremost, I'm going to be covering this lady up a bit. I'll be using the strong adhesive on tiles that I'll be using to cover up the upper side of the mannequin. Remember the mirror tiles that I used for the tray? That is the same one that I'll be using to cover up the mannequin. And the link for this is going to be down in the description box below. These mirror tiles can really be pricey, so I'll suggest to just buy the amount of sheets that you need for the project. This is what I'll use to cover the lady up. And once I have this all round, I was going to use glitter around the legs. 
But then I paused and thought to myself that it might just be too much. So I decided to just leave it the way it is and see where I go to from there. I like to make a little vase that's going to be on top of this table. Now I'll be starting off with a glass vase and an empty container that would fit in the glass vase. I want to make something that I also saw years ago and I had made one already. A few of you must have seen that vase already in some of my videos, but I'm going to show you how I made that vase. And it was inspired by a vase that I did see in a store called At Home. It had pearls around it. So what I'm gonna do for my own design is to have pearls around this plastic container. And I'll be gluing these full pearls around this container using a hot glue gun. For this design, they used pearls, but then if you don't like the idea of using pearls for your vase, you can use something else like cashmere glass or trims or gems. It's totally up to you. So when I was done with this, I still had to put it inside the glass to make sure that it fits. Now that I know that it's okay, what I did now is take it out again and then decorate the glass with a little bit of bling wrap. Now going back to the tray that I had made earlier, as you can see, I used the same mirror tiles on the mannequin on the tray as well to make it look like a whole set. Now I have the face that I made with a flower on top of it. Now you should know that the inspiration for this tray that I made is from another tray that I had bought from a store, which is this one. I used that inspiration to make my own tray. The only difference is my own tray does not have the mirror tiles on the inside but they still kind of look the same. This piece is one of a kind. And like I said, when I saw this design on Pinterest years ago, the person actually used something else to cover up the legs, but I left my legs bare and I love the way it looks. I was going to use this in my she cave, but I have a friend that has a salon and I know ladies coming in there to do their hair or their nails are going to see this and fall in love with the whole concept. Thank you guys so much for watching. I have other home decor DIY videos that are linked in the description box below to check them out. And for those of you who have not subscribed to my channel, don't forget to click on the subscribe button.